In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you an agenda slide, uh, which is very important for all of your presentations. So let me just show you how I have made this. So the first one, as you can see here, uh, I have made a clock where I have put the, the first agenda, which starts at uh, from eight o'clock to nine o'clock. And I've put like meet and greet and welcome message. And I've just put the icon relevant icon, which is like a meet and greet. And then when I click, it will show what's the next agenda you can see here from the 9 to 10 a.m uh, we have got like sales presentation by head of sales and then from 10 to 11 we have got finance presentation and then we have got hr presentation and then from uh, 11 to 1 it's a lunch break you can see here i've added all the relevant icons and then again from uh, 1 to 2 we are going to discuss the next year deliverables and then the question answer session will be there for one hour, which is from two to three p.m. And then the end, we are going to close the meeting. So depending on your requirement, you can add as many uh, agenda as you want. Maybe you can make it a uh, change to like 30 minute session also. So if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to make this tutorial because the MOF transition is available only in the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides. Then I'm going to insert one circle hollow. For that, go to insert tab, shapes. And from the basic shapes, I'm going to select circle hollow. Just click it, something like this. And then I'm going to increase the height and width to six inches or six points. So let me just put six both the places. And then I'm going to format align center, align middle. You can see here the width is too much. I'm going to reduce the width. You can see the small orange point. Just drag this outside. So depending on your requirement, you can adjust the width maybe this much and then shape outline. I'm going to make it no outline. All right. And one more thing I would like to do is I would like to change the background color of the slide for that right mouse click. Go to format background and I'm going to give some light gray color. All right. Now I'm going to add one more circle for that. I'm going to select this and duplicate. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. You can see here and I want to make this as a full circle here. All right. For that, go to format, edit shape, change shape and select the oval shape. You can see here it looks something like this and then shape fill. I'm going to make it white and then again align center, align middle and then send this to back. All right. So it looks something like this. Now, if you want to give some shadow effect, what you can do is I can select this one, press Ctrl D to duplicate. You can see here. And then I'm just going to change the color to somewhat gray color. And then I'm just going to place it something like this. All right. Something like this where one side it is inside, the other side it is outside. So just send this to back. So it looks something like this. All right. Now, the next thing is to make the, the clock, the, the hours. All right. For that, let me just go to a new slide, go to insert shapes and scroll it down from the stars and banners. Select the 12 point star. All right. Just click something like this. And this also I'm going to make it as maybe uh, five height and five width. All right and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline then you can see the small orange point just drag this down you can see here don't make something like this just give a little bit maybe this much all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut all the parts except the tip or the end side of that one so let me just insert one more oval shape all right. And this time I'm going to make the height and width as maybe 4.5. Let's see whether 4.5 is suitable or not. And shape outline, no outline, align center, align middle. So you can see the small points which is visible here that only going to be there. All right. So let me just move this aside. 
you can see here the, this one if you want you can just make it more bigger also something like this and again i'm going to align center align middle then i'm going to select this 12 point star hold the shift key select this one the oval shape merge shape you can see here i have just make subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this control c come to the slide and control v paste and then if you want to change the color whichever color you want more darker all right you can just change it the next thing is i'm going to add the numbers here starting from 12 okay till 11 here all right for that go to insert text box and i'm going to type 12 all right center align i'm going to font Arial black I'm going to choose all right if you want you can just increase the size also and I'm just going to place it here all right press ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm going to make it this as one all right I can just reduce the size if I want all right press ctrl D now keep on adding one by one and later on we can change the numbers so let, first let me put it like this press ctrl d keep on adding one by one by pressing ctrl d you can see here and if there's any alignment left we can do it later also not a problem press ctrl d again so let me just do quickly all right so this is the last one now all right so this is one this would be two three four five six seven eight this is nine let me just move this a little bit here then this is 10 and this is 11 all right so you can see here the one part of the uh, the watch is over or the clock is over the next thing is we need to add the needles for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape again just click in the center shape outline i'm just going to make it a uh, black all right and shape fill i'm going to make it white only and the outline maybe you can just increase the size all right so something like this and then this one i'm just going to make it maybe 0 0.3 height and width all right and this one align center align middle all right now next add the needle the hour needle for that shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw one small rectangle you can see here maybe this much size and put it exactly in the center shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill make it black if you want you can just zoom in and increase the size a little bit also depending on your requirement you can just adjust this press ctrl d to duplicate and this one i'm going to increase the height so this is the minutes needle right so let me just put it as if this is at 12 o'clock like that all right so you can see here uh, and this one i'm just going to bring this to front so that it looks something like this and i'm going to remove the guides so you can see here some basic design of the clock is over now it's time to add the options and some uh, morph transition effect before adding the options i'm just going to make a duplicate slide so if anything goes wrong at least i have one slide to uh, go back again so let me just right mouse click and just say duplicate slide now let's uh, start the agenda for example uh, uh, most of the the company meeting starts at eight o'clock or nine o'clock depending on the countries so for example say that the first hour from eight o'clock to nine o'clock it's uh, meeting and greetings and then some welcome message by the head of the company or ceo of the company uh, for that i just need to mark that one so in that case i want to bring the small needle 
to 8 o'clock all right so i'm just going to turn this something like this you can see here and i'm going to place it something here it should point toward like this or before doing that one what i recommend you to do it let me just press ctrl z and uh, first of all i want to add the i want to shade uh, with different color the one hour gap for that go to insert shapes and then i'm just going to select this triangle draw the triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it any color of your choice i'm just going to use the light blue bring it here and i'm going to just rotate it all right and then i'm just going to put it something like this here which is starting from the center and i can just increase the size and then according to my requirement i can adjust it for that right mouse click edit point you can see here i'm just going to make it till 12 okay exactly here and this one i'm just going to make it something like this and this one i'm just dragging this up you can see here this also i'm going to drag this up a little bit so uh, i've got this section now and i'm going to select this one and i can just send this back all right so just click it and make sure that it is something back like this i think this is okay now if you do more it will go back completely so you should not do that one so this is one hour gap now the one hour gap as i said starting from eight o'clock so let me just select this hour needle and i'm going to rotate it bring it here which is pointing towards eight all right so you need to spend a little bit of time to correct this one or to align this one and then this also i'm just going to bend it so this is from eight to nine our the first part of the meeting maybe meet and greet or whatever you call it and then this also i'm just going to select this one rotate it all right and then bring it here exactly i'm going to rotate it so you can see here this is for one hour between eight to nine all right so the first option eight to nine go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select this one rectangles top corners rounded you can see here i can just make it something like this and later on you can change the color shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color again rotate i'm going to rotate uh, rotate left 90 degrees and i'm just going to place it something like this here all right just give a little bit gap and then send this to back so this is how uh, my first option so go to insert text box i'm going to type meet and greet or you can just type or maybe a welcome message whatever you call it welcome message and i'm going to place it here and use some nice font i'm going to use arial uh, black all right so this is my welcome message and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can insert some icons also here if you don't have not a problem it's not must but it will look nice if you're using some uh, good icons to it okay so depending on the internet connection uh, this will connect so i'm not going to use it maybe anyway it has come so let me just use it any icon of my choice depending on the requirement i said this is the opening message so i'm just going to select a icon which is relevant to the topic all right so maybe i'm going to choose something which is maybe this one and then insert it got inserted in the center all right and then i'm just going to bring this here and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 and i'm going to place it here all right so this is the welcome message this is the very first uh, uh, option or the very first thing which happens in the meeting all right so this is the first agenda so the next agenda starts from nine o'clock to ten o'clock say and that will be a kind of a sales presentation or a different kind of presentation for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this slide right mouse click and duplicate it okay and then second select this particular slide and i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this 
and this one I'm going to make it a different color all right because this is already done so from eight o'clock to nine o'clock that's a message so now this one will start from nine to ten all right then send this to back then I'm just going to move the needles now all right so let me just select this minutes uh, needle and I'm going to place it here and this one again I'm going to make it which is pointing towards nine and this one also I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to bring it here you have to spend a little bit of time uh, in correcting this one or in aligning this one all right so and then for example the second point in the meeting is say the sales presentation so I'm just going to say a sales presentation all right or any other agenda depending on your requirement and this also I'm going to make it aerial black all right and I'm just going to place it here and this one uh, the icons I'm going to insert for example uh, a kind of a sale so I'm just going to show uh, this one and click on insert here and just put it there and then height and width I'm going to make it as 0.5 and place it exactly in the center and this text actually because it's already over so I'm just going to make it a white font and this also graphic fill I'm going to select white all right so you can see here the first one welcome message for one hour and then the second thing is the sales presentation so I'm going to select this particular slide and you have to go to the transition and select the mouse transition all right so you can see here how it is moving so let me just show you in the slideshow when I click the first thing it moves you can see here this is the sales presentation so likewise I need to add each and every slide or uh, uh, the options so right mouse click again duplicate the slide and then again I'm going to move the needle which is going to point now to 11 o'clock you can make it half an hour also depending on your requirement all right so I'm just going to place it something like this all right so you just need to keep on duplicating the slide and then you have to start working on that and then this also I'm just going to move it all right so this is for the 10 to 11 now this one press ctrl d to duplicate this is going to be a gray font uh, sorry gray fill here and this will be white font and this also i'm going to make it for example white again so let me just select this one increase the size all right and go to format send this to back all right so i can just reduce the size here so depending on my requirement i can just play with this and then for example the third point is say a uh, finance presentation okay so i'm just going to put the finance presentation and here this is also again aerial black all right and again you can just choose the font any dollar sign or any currency or something like that so like this you can just continue for the rest of the options all right so you just need to duplicate the slide and change the just move the needles that's it